answered the the the, the, the earlier part of the question I, I think we addressed which is you know it's fully bi-directional you can start with one language and end in another it, it, it really as long as it's a supported language in the platform uh, that's that's uh, completely at the discretion of the user uh, with regard to speech to text this is a, a, a really great question and something that I want to touch on because it really distinguishes digital nirvana and trance from everything else that we see in the marketplace so unlike other providers we're not limited to one specific speech to text engine. In fact, we by design do not operate that way. We constantly evaluate and measure the performance of all the best speech to text engines that exist in the market today. And so we're not limited to just one. And the reason that that's important is this technology is progressing and developing and, and advancing very quickly. And so being tied to one or the other is inherently limiting. We would rather take the approach of using them all and continually measuring and evaluating them based on the ability to uh, constantly evaluate and measure the performance of all the speech to text uh, partner engines that we use. And then we can also apply them based on their, their performance. So if we detect that engine A is performing better in scenarios, say, where there is sports content, and we could even be more specific, domestic American basketball, we see that speech to text engine A is performing better in this application, we automatically in the background route that content based on, again, machine learning capability to say, we're gonna route this, this client's content through the speech to text engine because we see it now is performing at its best, better than options B, C, D, whatever it might be. And those engines are constantly learning and that's another big distinction that we have a great, a great degree of accuracy that we can accomplish by taking that philosophy and that approach of how we again, automatically transcribe in the speech. Trance is currently not a live captioning solution, to be clear. Uh, but with that caveat, it is on our roadmap and it is something that we're actively developing. It, so live captioning with the ability to run our speech to text engine to collapse the time of that speech to text uh, process down to, to near real time or essentially real time, giving an operator the ability to make very quick edits and stay, excuse me, within a few seconds of live and be able to do that on the fly. That's something that we're evaluating and working towards as the, the technology matures. And there's a degree of reliability and consistency that we can bring to the market, but that is on the roadmap for sure. Not today, but.